my bun is like so out of frame you guys hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is monica right here monica oh, i had a long day worked for like 10 hours came home in a thunderstorm thankfully the rain stopped so yeah we got that going but um just trying to relax and what better way to relax than to riff on a bunch of new makeup if you're new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series before what i do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases every wednesday as seen on trend moves instagram page and i decide if i'm adding anything to my wish list or if they're all washouts get it it's a weekly wish list or and it's on wednesday like there's so many w's like it's awesome before we jump into this week's products don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this series every wednesday and if you're new and you haven't already would you subscribe to the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video? Looking really oily today. Let's fix that. There we go. Okay, so first something that I kind of skipped over, I think. I haven't really talked about something before. This is the new Wet n Wild collection. It's like the Fire and Fire Dragon versus Ice Dragon. Cute, but I think they come out with too much stuff. Just, you know, in general. Um, I really want to try the bronzers. I really don't know if those bronzers are new. I think I mentioned the bronzers by themselves actually, but now I think everything's available. So I think I'm gonna try those bronzers. The highlighters look beautiful. They look gorgeous, but I don't need any. I mean, they're a really great option. They're really affordable, but I have like six of them. I don't need any more. I don't, but it's a good formula and it lasts forever and they're really, really affordable. So if you, if any of these colors speak to you, jump don't jump like off of anything just in the direction of the makeup ColourPop came out with some new super shock shadows to celebrate their six million on instagram they're pretty but i don't need any more i've got a few more than a few they don't last that long i mean they're really pretty but also they're a single shadow and i don't reach for singles that often as it is so i know i'm not gonna reach for them but they're really cute i think everyone should have like one or two at the most just because it's a great formula but me me so the beauty inside like this is a little bit off topic but the beauty insider is changing at sephora and they're finally i guess trying to live up to ulta or trying to do something different where now if you're rogue rogue just take away my channel right now why if you're rogue rouge just pronounce it every single way eventually we'll get there if you're rouge then once you hit is it 2500 points let me double check yes 2500 points you can get a hundred dollar gift card i think that's really cool i think that's a really good idea i think i would have liked it if they did like a smaller amount of points for like a lesser amount of money like i think a 50 dollar gift card would have been really cool right for i don't know thousand maybe 1500 points because it's gonna take a while for the average person to hit 2500 but still you're getting almost 100 out of it but this think thinking about it like when you spend yeah i think it's a step in the right direction i think they could work a little bit more on it of course but at least they're walking due north just realized i didn't actually scoot enough this way so we're scooted okay so i gotta say Odds are I probably won't purchase anything from this brand because it's, it's a little bit crazy. But the cover of the new Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette is amazing. Amazing. Like, look how beautiful that is. I have no idea what the shades are, but just that artwork. Pretty. So Real Techniques is coming out with a whole new, like, limited edition brush line. They look really cute. I haven't tried any of their brushes. Honestly, I don't need any brushes, but I could use some sponges. And they're coming out with a new sponge duo. So I would look into that because I do like my Real Technique sponges. I definitely need to replace my sponges within the next like month or two. So I'll be looking into that one. Okay. Can we just take a minute to appreciate this? It is so beautiful. I think it's probably the most beautiful packaging I've ever seen. Can I afford it? No. Does it make me like really tempted to 
Oh, God, I can't. I'm not a girl on girl. I can't. But that powder, I, I spent a long time looking at this photo, guys. I did. No, bad mark. Stop it. So Charlotte Tilbury is now live on Sephora.com. I do want to try something. One thing, two things, we'll see. Let me know if you've ever tried Charlotte Tilbury, if you have any suggestions, if you've heard anything, let me know down below because really I haven't seen too many videos. I just, I really don't know where to start and I would love to just get a little discussion going. So let me know down below if you've tried any of it, if you've heard of any of it. Just give a girl, give, give a girl some help. Ooh, probably going to get this. Jeffree Star just teased a new mini liquid lipstick set. I have all of them and I love all of them. I love minis, I love the amount of product you get in there, I love the price, I love the variety. I have them all currently on display on my shelf. I'll throw a picture in if you guys wanna see it, but I love them all. So if he comes out with another one, yeah, your girl's getting it. I have absolutely no interest in this. Like I know there was controversy with this first release from KKW, how you barely got any product in the cream things and how the powders were just like meh. Um, so now they're coming out of singles and I don't think you're going to get any more product in this. Okay, nothing about this is really tempting me. No, honestly nothing from KKW has enticed me. Like I've tried Kylie Cosmetics, I have a few videos on Kylie Cosmetics. There have been certain things that have drawn me in, made me curious, wanted to try. KKW is just like, I don't know, like nothing is drawing me in, nothing is making me interested. Ooh, so we actually have enough products to do a silence lightning round. Let's go. No. This one looks really pretty and I'm really excited to see what it actually is. I'm hoping it's not a cream highlight. I'm hoping it's a powder, but you know, you never know. It looks kind of cream in this photo. But Nikki Jorals is coming out with a new collab at some point. I'm interested. Interested. Honestly, if it's a powder, I'll probably try it out. If it's a cream, no. I'll have to pass. I have to say, from this picture, interested. Interested. Hello, JK guys. Literally, as I was exporting this video, this picture was posted. <laughs> so this is the highlighter that Nikki Tutorials is coming out with Ofra, and it's a powder. And it's got me really interested. And I know I talked shit about Ofra and their packaging and their highlighters, but I really like Nikki, and this highlighter looks really nice. So, I mean... Right now, it's like a 70% chance that I get this. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Like, ColourPop is coming out with jelly shadows? Jelly, Super Shock Shadows Little Sister Jelly. I just wanna get one of these just to feel it. I have no idea how, they're, how they'll perform, especially if on someone who has hooded lids and oily eyelids, like, no clue. It comes out in, ooh, I think it's this week, August 16th. Let me know if you guys want to see me try that out. I'd be willing. They're fairly affordable. I'd be willing to try them out. But honestly, I have no idea how that would work. Okay, and I think we're all caught up. That's everything for this week's wish list or washout. Could I have said that any weirder? Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.